One of the coolest sayings that really stuck in my mind from my time in the uh, U.S. Air Force is the concept of don't be a victim. That's something that uh, was said repeatedly. And I was a firefighter, and I don't know if that's always for the fire department or if I, I don't remember if it was uh, throughout the military boot camp or if it was later on the concept of don't be a victim. And it really resonated with me and I think it's appropriate for the times that we're in. It seems like there's a lot of news, a lot of uh, broadcast, a lot of um, investment on us being fearful, us being uh, the, the victim mentality. So. The way that I understood, the way that I took that was not necessarily be a, don't be a victim of your circumstances, don't be a victim of something, but a straight logical statement. Don't be a victim. So when you think about it, it makes sense, right? Because victim is a certain mindset. So when you have a victim mindset, when you think like a victim, when you are being a victim, so what's essentially happening is someone outside of you is doing something to you. But if you refuse to be a victim, if you have the mindset of, um, oh, I'm going to refuse to be a victim, don't be a victim, now you can actually frame the things, the circumstances that you're in, situation, the things that are happening to you, you have a different mindset. So a mindset of a person that who's learning from this experience or who is actually trying to work things out. Um, this was really a, a part of the, the, the training too, even when we were talking about whether you become a, a POW, if you're captured or something happened, the idea is not to be a victim and not to um, wait for things to happen to you, but actually continually think about how can I escape, how can I evade, how can I um, avoid torture or whatever that's happening. So I think, again, the time that we're living right now where all these news media, all these social media, all these people are telling us how many people are being infected, how many people are dying, and it's like constant bombardment of it. And there are people who are pushing against the people who are pushing against. Is that a, a shit ton of stuff, information is flying based on each party, based on each group or based on each um, organization, based on their goals, based on their conscious or unconscious motivations. But if you decide right now not to be a victim, and if you keep repeating to yourself mentally or telling each other, don't be a victim, I promise you that you're going to have a different approach to all these things. Um, so the moral of that story um, is that, just don't be a victim and embrace that mindset, embrace that mentality and figure out what you can do from the circumstances that you're in. How can you um, maximize what's happening for you, whether you don't have money, whether you're in quarantine, it doesn't matter where you are in the world, everybody is right now in a, um, some sort of a lockdown position. It seems like that everyone is some sort of a waiting period. And so if you can actually approach it more proactively and actually have a mindset of the person that who's going to maximize this situation that they're in, I promise you that you're going to be coming out of whatever this time frame is, you're going to come out as a winner. It doesn't matter whether you're building a new habit, it doesn't matter you're learning a new language in Duolingo, it doesn't matter you're learning to cook or you're learning to budget or whatever your situation that you're in, really approach it is in a way that I'm going to maximize this and I'm going to come out of this on my two feet and standing tall and see how that works. My name is Turk Akbay. If you want to make your life easier and reach your goals faster, I am your man. I'm launching a new coaching program. You can learn more about it from totalselfhelp.com. But please join to my Facebook group or uh, one of these things that I'm working. And I'd love to um, have you part of our group of winners. Have a great day and I'll see you on the next video.